Hi there, my name is Kathleen and I have lots of tricks and secrets up these sleeves. I want to start with an aha moment. One day I was taking a placemat similar to this, folding it up to put it away here in the kitchen, and I went, oh, this could be a purse. So I glued the two sides and started decorating. I couldn't stop making them as you will see, and the possibilities are endless. I painted on this one a couple of ping pong balls, threw a few bows on, and away I go. Today you just can't fit an iPod and a wallet and a telephone and uh, a camera and your cosmetics into a little flirty handbag. So this clutch is the perfect answer. And best thing, the mirror that I put in, it's not to see myself, it's to see who's at the party. It just takes a few minutes to bake one of these fun clutch bags. And they are so hip and so now and I can make one in as much time as it takes me to put my makeup on. This is a fabulous project that continues. For years I've collected scarves. I love scarves. For years I haven't worn scarves because they're usually hidden in either a, a box or a drawer or a cupboard or a shelf and when I pull them out they're too wrinkled to wear until I came up with this great idea. I went to the hobby shop, I bought a couple of little curtain rods, put them on with push pins, and I have a gorgeous wall decorated, and I can just put a scarf on, and away I go, wrinkle free. I hate to say it, but procrastination is my middle name. I mean, I'm always running late, and when it's time for me to choose my slacks, to go with the outfit that I'm wearing, I can't ever find them until I came up with this terrific idea. Look at this. I've labeled every single hanger with the proper word, like too tight, out of date, perfect fit, itchy pants, with every single designer so that I can go in, get the pants I need, and almost be on time. I love this concept. Do you happen to have a cashmere sweater or two that's either outdated or moths have dined on it or it's just too tight or too out of style? We'll tell you what you can do. Put it in the washer and dryer and start cutting. It won't fray and it won't shrink. So I have made vests. I have combined cashmere sweaters to make a new look. I have taken turtlenecks that give me claustrophobia and made a new sweater and I've made fall hats. It's fun, it's economical, and there's millions of things you can do with a moth-eaten cashmere sweater. Even a guy can use red nail polish. Don't think that this handy little bottle isn't good for more uses than you can imagine. There's a 50-50 chance when you plug in a plug and you're in a hurry, and you might even be frustrated that it's going to go in the wrong way, unless you smudge a little red paint on every single appliance that you have in the house. And I'll tell you what, I have a few other tricks, not up my sleeves, but in my pocket. How many times have you gotten ready to go out, and you're in a hurry, and you spray your perfume all over and into your eye? That will never happen again because you put a little red dot on all your perfumes right where the opening is and mixing them with those works too. Okay, here's a magic trick that you girls are all going to love. Do you think that I can fit a dozen pair of shoes into this box? Well, I can. I'll show you how. Start with a really comfortable pair of shoes that you can walk in all day and these are. Next, put a disc of Velcro, the furry part, on the top and then just start creating some tops. I've gone for broken. This is a broken earring. Here's a broken watch. The only trick is you have to have two of everything. Little leather flowers. Pack it up and away you go with a dozen pair of comfortable shoes for a long weekend away. I don't know when this hostess gift craze started, but I'm getting a little bit bored with bringing a bottle of wine to a party. 
So I've come up with a new idea. I was reading on how healthy it is to have a mixture of honey and cinnamon. So I just got an old jam jar, filled it up, half honey, half cinnamon, and it is divine. Whether you use it on fruit, whether you use it on toast, whether you use it on meat, or whether you just take it by the mouthful, it is divine. And what did I trim it with? A cut up old cashmere sweater. How creative is this? I've never been a big asparagus fan. Try as I might, it's just not my favorite vegetable, unless it's grilled. When it's grilled, they are yummy and so healthy. But how to serve them? Just stick them on a shish kebab stick, grill them, and away you go. They are rolled in a little bit of salt and sugar and extra virgin olive oil. They were a real hit last weekend. Many more secrets in these closets, in those drawers, in that kitchen, in this head, to save money, to save time, while being practical and remaining elegant and having enough time to twirl galore.